Covering St. Johns County, looking for a new and unique place to maybe grab a bite. There are, there are some new options, one that boasts a lot of choices. A new food truck park. It's called the Village Garden. It's open off of A1A. News for Jack's reporter Jen Reddy joins us live. So this is a first of its kind in St. Augustine. Good morning. The owners of this new food truck park say it is the first of its kind in St. Augustine with eight electric plug-ins, plenty of space for several food trucks, restrooms, and a community space for people to enjoy their meals together. Inside the Funkadelic food truck, frying bacon is nothing new for Jerry Asker. He's been serving up burgers and sandwiches from his truck for roughly five years. This is just an easier way to uh, get into the business and you know, do your thing and not have 90 employees in a huge restaurant to take care of. Asker recently relocated his business from Jacksonville to St. Augustine to be part of the new food truck park along A1A. The Village Garden is home to four permanent food trucks with additional on the weekends. It also has a space for games and several areas for community seating. Yeah, you got it. A place where people can come together and uh, share a meal together. Brendan Schneck owns the park with his wife. He says zoning restrictions make it hard for food trucks to operate in St. Augustine, but they got the property rezoned in order to create a community atmosphere for vendors and customers. As food truck owners themselves, they know firsthand the value of community. You know, doing it by yourself is really tough sometimes, so it's great to have another group of food truck owners there to kind of lean on and to help each other and, you know, just coexist in a, in a space. A space asker says will make a huge difference for residents and visitors going forward. Well, the beach itself, I mean, doesn't really have any kind of like grab and go food like this. Everything sit down. I mean, this is huge. The entire process to get the park up and running took about two years. It is open seven days a week. Jennifer Reddy, Channel 4, The Local Station.